Okay, everybody. It's been a while, and uh, lots of reasons why. So I'm going to give updates, but I got to give some back dates <laughs> or down dates. Opposite of up would be down, right? So yeah, I've been out of uh, communication. I'm actually in a very remote location still at this point in time, and it's been very difficult to get internet. Uh, so things have happened. So what's happened since Southeast Asia? Well, if you followed uh, Rex and myself, you'll know that we have uh, traveled two continents, three countries, and over 18,555 miles, and uh, spent over 8,000 hours together, and covered seven states in the United States, and uh, that journey continues. And so that's part of the updates, right? Um, we had set... A, as far as the uh, self-defense and self-protection, uh, zero-distance warfare training, which is still going on. I've been doing a distance uh, via uh, webcam or video or however you want to put it, <laughs> courses and classes. And those, those have gone well. There's been a time lag because I've been, a, like I said, in a very remote location. So that hasn't happened, but that's coming back. So one of the things is that's happened, that, that happened um, since uh, May of 2020, and it's and now we're going to come back now here in 2021. So look for that. Those of you on the list, on the email list uh, at thefluentfighting.com or combat-judo.com, either one of those lists, you'll get notified about it. <clears throat> and that's something else, uh, big news, is that a legend has returned. A legend has returned, and I'm trying to get something scheduled with that legend. Uh, some people who've been around a long time have never met that legend because we go. That's we're going way back, way back to the wild days, to uh, the very wild days when some of the legends were were created. So that's a big thing, a big, big thing. And uh, <clears throat> barring what happened with the uh, disastrous uh, legacy Mike Sandlin uh, attempted seminar in St. Louis, this is the next biggest thing, really. So that's happening on that front, okay? And what's going to happen in, in 2021? Well, you know, the, the places that are not scared, not going through the hysteria, are, have opened completely back up in the United States, Texas, uh, Mississippi, South Dakota. I don't think Wyoming's ever really been shut down either. And uh, we're looking at where we can, and other states will be opening up, and some are pretty much open. We'll be looking at where we can do live events because we got to get back to it. And there's nothing will take the place of a live event for training. And some of you know, and I've been talking about this, uh, about the the dogs, the canines. <laughs> that uh, actually, it's not something new. It's I'm just I'm going back to something I used to do a long time ago, and I did on the sly or on the down low <clears throat> during the years, and worked with certain dogs in certain countries. <clears throat> but now I'm going to be going uh, public. I'm hooking up with a friend of mine who is a was a professional boxer, but also was an Air Force military dog trainer. So we'll be doing things together. I, I am currently training uh, dogs, and those videos will hopefully be coming out soon on some of the process and some of the things we're doing. I am, if you're interested in this aspect, I am dealing with tactical dogs, and, and tactical also means pet dogs because we consider tactical real world what you need to do. It's, I'm not doing sport obedience. Uh, nothing against sport obedience. There's some things that we do that we take from agility, from tricks, uh, from IGP, from Mondial Ring. Uh, we take some of those things and incorporate them. But <clears throat> a lot of that, that sport obedience has little to do very much with uh, real world. It's, it's like fighting, basically. Some of the, the the prancing, healing that goes on at IGP and some other things is not tactical. You won't use it with military dogs. You won't. You don't need it in real life. Um, it's just something that people like to look at. <clears throat> some people, not everybody. I don't. But I'll be doing real world, so I'll be concentrating on 
precision obedience and protection uh protection dogs uh, <clears throat> those are the two fields that i've <clears throat> worked on the most over the years i have done now i have a massive uh extensive experience from sled dogs to gun dogs uh, to protection dogs to primitive dogs something most people don't have you're not going to find that and that's the thing with my with our coat assistant trainer we have international experience which you won't find where we're, we'll be doing this in the united states uh, but we'll be available for anybody around the world but we have that international experience <clears throat> we have worked with several different types of dogs like i'm saying and i've worked with uh southeast asian jungle dogs i, I love the primitive uh, called primitive dogs i love those dogs <laughs> and uh and rex is 50 percent that by the way so they're uh, incredible i have getting back to that so they're going to be we'll be having a fixed location uh, soon i hope uh i am training here and doing things here but this is not uh like i said it's very remote so it's very difficult for people to even drop their dogs off you know unless they're going to drop their dogs off for a month or something for training but like i said so precision obedience and protection is going to be the main things but we'll, i do other things i will do hunting dogs we'll do hound dogs uh and i can help with certain sports uh i have done that before a long time ago i did akc obedience way back i don't like the akc because they're mafia sort of racist <coughs> racist is in the dog racism uh moves so that's what's happening in that point now one other area languages people ask me what's happening with languages what have i been doing like i told you that i i was working on slovak um that took a, a down a turn because I didn't have internet <laughs> because I was so remote and I'm using a lot of resources via internet to increase that. But I still have the number one fluent, you know, method. That book is out. You, you can get that on language-busters.com. And also the volume method. Volume method is extremely difficult, very hard, but it's gotten results and everybody's done it. It's a maze. I mean, it works, but it's difficult. It's very difficult. It's just like many other things. But anyway, so these are the things and I want to tell you on, on Facebook. I, I have, of course, pages for um, the self-protection and self-defense. Well, there's a page, uh, the, the Cluxton a combat systems page and there's also the group combat judo uh make sure you answer the questions though because they're getting tiring having people who don't answer the questions trying to get into the group and then there's also the page for top dog canine training top dog canine training.com that website will also be up soon <clears throat> And uh, there, I already have one uh, dog website up, but this is going to be our main, our main website. is going to be topdogcaninetraining.com. And look for videos uh, of dog training. Uh, I may be doing some tutorials for dog training, but I'd rather think do a showcase of different events <laughs> or different things with dogs we'll try to do something a little bit different than the other people out there i mean there's some good there are some good videos but i'm going to be doing things differently and i'll talk about that more in, in in specific things i do a lot of informational videos i don't do a lot of i don't you know expend 89 hours with editing and putting in sound effects and putting in different scenery because it's about the information you know and i'm not monetized really on any of this stuff and i don't have patreon or uh, subscribe store or any of that other stuff going on so i'm you know i've been doing this, especially with languages i've i've really put myself out and given you guys a lot of incredible information that would cost you thousands upon thousands of dollars if you were dedicated and sincere and uh, i have to decide about the course with the self-defense i've been top of the heap for decades and uh you know you're not getting free information from me on that you know, I, it's just not gonna happen <laughs> so, anyway so that's where we're at so check me out on facebook um and keep tuned to this and we will get a uh a uh yeah i know about uh I've, oh i've gotten getting people sending uh, uh 
what do you call it, messages to me. Yeah, I knew about uh, Moses McCormick. I heard he was 39 years old and uh, was in Phoenix, I guess. I don't know what he was doing in Phoenix because he had a heart condition. Uh, anyway, so that's bizarre. But uh, I saw that also that he had a great deal of money coming in or his GoFundMe had a great deal of money coming in for that. But anyway, so that's that, you know, there are new uh, lingual files out there and uh, but there haven't been any increases in the serious authentic linguist. Uh, and those are, that's a different story. But anyway, so I'll talk to you guys later. Like I said, you know, keep tuned to the to this channel. <laughs> it's really going to be diverse. It's going to be dogs, languages, self-defense, self-protection. Um because the way YouTube works now, trying to split up and do different channels on each of those uh, would be, it's very difficult the way YouTube has done things. Since I came in, you know, way back on YouTube. So it, it, this channel is uh, the best way to find out. It's a, I know it's very, very diverse, but that's the way I am, you know. <laughs> so there's that. And um, so there will be updates about everything here and also on Facebook uh my facebook my 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 uh, personal facebook but also on my pages and my groups all right so thanks a lot everybody and uh i'll talk to you later okay bye